Yo, what's going on, fellow Italians? So, yes, you read the title correctly. We're going to defend the fortress with, I think it was less than 20 strikes. Now, let me just show you the build that I'm going to use to make this work. Uh, I'll, I'll translate for you guys. So, I'm using the Wrath Giver here. It's the sword. It gives me uh, 10 Fury for every execution. And I have the secondary there that gives me 15 extra damage when I at full health. Uh, the dagger really doesn't matter, but I'm using this one. I think it's the Soul Stealer in English. It gives me... Uh, potence uh, gives me gives me might and also L ferals when I uh, when I throw it on a quick throw. Now I already made a video uh, like a totally specific video focused only on this build. It's the actual best build on Shadow of Mortar. So if you guys want to see that, I'll definitely link that video below. Okay, in the comments and the description, so you guys can can link can see it better. But I'm using that build here, and uh, I'll, I'll also set the. Uh, don't worry about the the game is in Spanish, but don't worry about that. I'll I'll write in English for you guys below as well everything that I'm using here uh, but again I already made a video specific on this and it's the same thing over there everything is in English uh, if, if not in the video on the description you, you just scroll down and you'll be able to read it one by one everything um, but yeah I'm, I'll, I'll talk I'll comment as we go and and uh, how I'm using the, the the gear that I'm using and why not during the during the actual defense and you see right there I'm only using gems for, for damage right there as well on my weapons uh, and this is the skills that I'm using. I uh, I just I just this is like not like super that big of a deal, but uh, so I'm not, I'm not even not even gonna show them like in particular. And again, because I already showed this on that video I made specifically on this build, so I'm just showing you in particular here the prestige uh, skills that I have, the levels you see there's 60, the first one, then the third one 59. I'm just showing you really the levels just so you guys, because because this is also helping me, you know. So I think it's fair that I show the level that I have on them because they are actually in a way influencing the the defense itself uh but just so to clarify i'm gonna count as a strike uh when, when i say less than 20 strikes and the title and whatnot uh strikes i'm gonna consider strikes anything that has to do with my weapon so like pretty much any any melee attack is going to be one strike okay and that includes doing um doing execution so when ex going for an execution would, would count as one strike okay i'm not gonna count uh like bolt even though i'm not i'm not, not gonna be using those like a lot it's, it's mostly just the weapons that I'm gonna be using uh, but I do like shoot shoot the bows like once in a while and uh, but I'm not gonna count those as a strike because uh, you know it's not a strike it's just like a shot and even if you were to count those as a strike it will still be less than 50 I think total so it's still a pretty crazy number <laughs> regardless but uh, but yeah in particular for the for the, the number that I have on the title is really just for strikes as in any, anything that I do with my melee sword in, in specific okay uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk through the defense so you have an idea how the gear that I'm using is helping me, cause you, you so you guys can understand how it works and whatnot, and how to play it. Once you you again you see that video that I did in particular about this build, then I'm gonna link it below, and, and once you get it, you know how to play the build. Okay. So first thing here, uh, obviously I like to shoot the, these these uh, monsters here because otherwise the grogs because they're gonna be shooting the walls and they, if they break the walls the, you know they're gonna get inside the. The fortress and that just makes thing, things it, it's not that it, it breaks the defense it just it just makes it slower so since we want we want speed here i'm going to make sure those creatures die so that uh they don't break the walls and that the, all the fight happens outside the fortress here like right in front of me uh and see i'm picking up the million there because i have the marauder set uh so i, I get increased damage for every million that i pick up so this is why i'm picking them up before i actually hit hit him with the sword I could I could pick a pick more if I wanted to like right now I could easily pick a bit more before going for the strike there, but I just just just, just didn't really felt like it was necessary. So you see right there, that was like what three strikes and he's down, he's dead already. Uh, and now it's really going to escalate because now there's a lot more meeting around the map at this moment, so I can easily escalate the damage. And again, this is the damage is all stacking on top of the damage that I already have that I'm already using in my normal you know gear equipment. Which, like I mentioned, I have the on the sword itself. I already have a 15% increase for being full health. So right there, he's he was that in one shot as well. I don't want to finish him because I don't want the reason why I I, I use the the arrow there is because I don't want, I don't want him to go to that little conversation. So just to make sure he doesn't do that, I I just uh, shot him with the the arrow there. I want to kill this grog here because I don't want him to break those walls. <laughs> Again, so they don't go inside. Right here, I I noticed he was running away, so I just wanted to make sure I kill him. Because <laughs> I don't want anyone escaping, and uh, and yeah, I I thought he was low health. That's why I was shooting him with the bow. But 
because he was full health, I just went for the melee right there, so I can uh, one-shot him. And uh, this is this is really just to recover my health and my arrows, as you see there, when I'm doing that little drain. Now the reason why I uh, I do that is really so you know I just have my, uh, my arrows ready. That was a one-shot again. <laughs> so another strike right there, and another one strike, one kill, <laughs> pretty much. So see, I'm picking up the mirroring again. Uh, and the reason why I have uh, the infinite uh, Elven Rage is because I'm doing this, which is the, the this punch of the floor gives me gives me wrath, as well as uh, that's that's because of the wrath giver that I'm using. And exec executions also give me ten. Remember, from this from the again the wrath giver, and um, and killing the captains is gonna give me thirty wrath every time as well. So I can easily escalate you know chain one for the other without running out. And my on my rune, I also have that. Th that was all one. Those were all one shot as well. <laughs> uh, my rune, I also have a 30% increase on the time for my Elven Rage. So this is also why it's lasting so long. On top of what I'm already gaining, that helps. That helps it last. I have the 30% increase effect on the time. So the reason why I'm ignoring some of the captains is because I'm just going for the yellow ones. There are the, you know, the bosses. Because once they're all dead, you're gonna see what happens. The other ones are all like. Uh, green like this, which means I can one-shot him regardless of my level of damage. You can one-shot him with, when they're green like this. Because they essentially surrender already, so I can easily, like, you know, just go there and kill them. And because I'm inside the Elven Rage, the, the match essentially never ends. The attack, and, and as well, as far as I'm inside the, my, uh, as long as I'm inside my Elven Rage, uh, the defense never ends, and I can just keep killing them forever if I want to. And, and because killing them is actually giving me back more, more Elven Rage, so it's a cycle that never ends, if you can imagine. <laughs> And uh, so at this point, like I'm, you don't even need the damage, like I mentioned. When they're green like this, uh, you you can easily like one shot them already. So this is just a trick I like to use. I just kill the the yellow ones first. That saves a lot of more time, so I don't have to uh, you know fight them like one on one. Actually, I can just one shot them regardless of my damage. Even though I can still one shot them normally without them being green like this, I can still one shot them normally. But you know, it's just I don't know why bother. It takes a little longer, so I might as well. This one I cannot cannot one shot because he's Im immune to executions. So that's why he did a little counter animation there. So, so that's why I'm shooting him with the bulb because he's immune to executions. So I can't really do the, you know, the killing animation there. I have to. I could hit him with my sword as well, and he would die. But same thing with this guy here. So I, I just go with the bulb because why not? Uh, and if you're trying to get these weapons, by the way, the, this build, uh, the wrath giver, you want to kill them while inside the oven rage. That's the best way you're gonna make the the. The Wrath Giver drop is when you kill them while inside the Elven Rage. So if you're trying to get that weapon, just keep constantly activating your Elven Rage, and then execute them. Okay, execute them while inside the Elven Rage, and that's that's going to be the most, the likely, the highest chance you're going to you're going to be getting for for dropping the the Wrath Giver is when is under those circumstances. And you see, at this point, I can just keep killing them forever if I want to, and keep gaining my my Elven Rage back if I want to, and it's never going to end. Um, so yeah, guys. You're also gonna get the humiliator, which is another option you can use if you don't have the wrath giver here. Uh, but again, just just uh, go to the link below. I I covered this build like I did a literally a solo video just covering this build alone. So uh, that's a full guide there if you guys want to see it. And uh, yeah, that's how you defend the fortress in like what less than 20, 20 strikes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, see you guys on the next one. I have videos. Also have a uh, videos link below about how to farm gems. You know how to get your legendary gears. All this stuff is going to be below, okay? So, take care, guys.